listen, I don't know. If I could just for a second here have everybody who has ever served this beautiful, wonderful country raise your hand. Everybody look around you. All these hands you see raised. They actually had a set of values they lived by. Don't we all? Don't we all want to have some type of values? What bothers me is when I joined the Army, a little bit older than others, but others that were younger, you can bring an 18-year-old to join the Army. The Army has seven core values. And these 18-year-olds that we bring in, we expect them to do it. We expect these 18-year-olds to exhibit core values. We have a commander-in-chief whose values are questioned. We have a commander-in-chief whose ethics are questioned. In the Army, our first Army value is loyalty. How many of you have seen the President remain loyal to the country? Corporations aren't people, but good try, but he is loyal to those. Loyalty is our first Army value. Now, I'm not discriminating, other branches have values as well. Army value. We have a sense of duty to ourselves, our peers, our subordinates, our superiors, those for whom we serve. All of you. When I was in uniform, the real one, not this cute thing, I loved my duty of supporting you. That was my job. That's what woke me up every morning. We would like to have a Commander-in-Chief of our United States Armed Forces to have a sense of duty to the country that he commands. I don't think that's asking too much. Our next Army value, you're gonna love this one, respect. Is there anything else I have to say about that? You're supposed to respect all people you're supposed to respect those with whom you serve. You're supposed to respect those that you deal with. Even during my time overseas, I had to present, I had to present an appearance to let them know that we Americans are respectful, to go into other countries and respect them, and expect, re expect respect in return. I've got a few congresswomen that I'm pretty certain do not feel the respect. I'm sure there are faith communities here within the United States, here within Pittsburgh, that do not feel the respect. So how can you ask an 18-year-old to exhibit respect when their commander-in-chief is setting such a wonderful example? Fourth Army value, selfless service. I'm here as so I'm groaning on that one. Selfless service, we don't do what we do to personally benefit from it. I'm not gonna host a G7 in my apartment thinking, hey, I'm gonna make money. I mean, we serve, we give up ourselves expecting nothing in return. And as my fellow veteran here said, knowing that we can die. Yes, I willingly would have died for any of you. Absolutely, because that's what selfless service encompasses. Honor. Honor is our next Army value. Honor is to live honorably. It is to show that you have some type of ethical background, some type of moral code. I do understand people are different, people believe different things, but I think in general, golden rules, stuff like that, we all kind of agree on. Don't be a jag off. I mean, there's not really much more you can say to that, right? 
My personal favorite is the next arm of value, integrity. The, the book army definition is do what's right legally and morally. I'm still waiting to see one legally correct or one morally correct action come out of the White House. I would like to see the commander in chief of this great nation exhibit an ounce of integrity. I don't think that's too much to ask for. You know, just don't lie. Be honest. Don't go back on your word. Don't bribe other countries. You know, stuff that we can get like court martialed and stuff for. But hey, whatever. And personal courage. Personal courage is our final army value. Personal courage is the value that you go. Sometimes you have to do hard things. Sometimes you want to go left, but you know you should go right. It's to have that intestinal fortitude to stand up and realize, I want this, but it's wrong. I have to do this because it is correct. Personal courage is facing fear, danger, or adversity, physical or moral. Physical courage is not stepping out on a golf course thinking, I hope I don't get hit by a golf ball while I'm cheating. <laughs> that is not personal courage. Personal courage is doing the right thing, even if it's hard. I don't know. I would expect a commander in chief that is leading all forces, Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, Coast Guard, who all have their values. The values I demonstrated were just Army values. Each branch has their own values, whether they be integrity first, I believe it is, from the Air Force, and they most of them involve integrity. They all involve integrity. Courage, duty, these are words that we use within, across the branches, whether it be Navy, Army, Air Force, Marines. We all do, no matter what color uniform we wear. That's what we do. Even a clerk at McDonald's is expected to exhibit these values. Is it unreasonable to ask for myself that is served and for those that are currently serving to have a leader who sets the example? Is that too much? Is it asking too much? not asking too much of a young kid straight out of high school that's willing to go and die for this country. I don't think it's asking too much for somebody that wants to lead the greatest military in the world. And I'm just saying this as a former non-commissioned officer. He is not smarter than a general's. <laughs>